Well, sand sculptors from around the world will be pulling out the shovels and buckets in Parksville this weekend for the annual Canadian Open Sand Sculpting Competition. This is the all-grown-up version of a childhood rite of passage, building sand castles on the beach. This, however, is serious business. The top prize in the competition is a spot in the World Sand Sculpting Championships in Florida. And as A News reporter Steve Coulterman shows us, the site is meticulously prepared and specialized sand is trucked in, leaving nothing to chance. 250 cubic yards of sand is dumped into 18 piles at the community park in Parksville. The final stage of preparation before artists from around the world pack, cut, and scrape their designs at the 12th annual Canadian Open Sand Sculpting Competition. It's not ordinary beach sand. These piles are trucked in specifically for the event. Bruce Waugh, last year's champion, arrives and heads right for the sand. It's an old, it's an old glacial deposit. It probably hasn't seen the light of day for like, you know, millions of years. So, and it's uh, very, very fine. There's definitely a bit of silt and clay in it because it's, it's dirty. The fresh sand is easy easier to pack and stack nice and high, allowing the sculptors to design true works of art. Wa is one of 15 sculptors competing in the individual competition, while three groups of six will battle in the team category. Tomorrow is pound up, which is, is when the sculptors come in, they build their forms, throw the sand in the forms, pack it down, but they're not allowed to do any sculpting. They're just allowed to get it ready. And then Saturday morning, I believe it's eight o'clock, they can start taking the sculpt that forms off apart and they start sculpturing. The artists will sculpt all day Saturday, finishing just before dark. Their designs will be completed with seven more hours of work on Sunday. More than 15,000 people are expected to attend the exhibition over the next three days, and many more will come in the following weeks to view the completed sculptures. We asked for a suggested donation of $2.50, and a portion of our gate proceeds it will be donated to not-for-profit organizations in our community. So really what this is about is helping our community grow. So we thank all visitors and, and residents to come in and see our, our sand sculptures and donate back to your community. Community. The beach festival and sunshine normally go hand in hand, but this year the forecast is for cloudy skies and rain. On Saturday and Sunday, they're doing a lot of the detailed sculpting, and so if it comes, if it pours down hard, we're probably going to have to get some tarps in there to help protect. But what happens is, is as they're sculpting, they use a mixture of wood good glue and water to help secure what the, you know the sand that they want in place. So as long as they can spray as they're sculpting things should be fine because it sets up pretty quickly. Rain or shine, the artist will be designing their best work as the winner earns a spot in this year's World Sculpting Competition in Florida. In Parksville, Steve Coulterman, A News.